set going into this weekend for Troy? These feel like really big games? Yeah, it was important to get both wins. We know we had a chip on our shoulder. We had to come in, take care of business, and do it for each other. Everyone alongside us. Man, 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 what were you what were you thinking going into this weekend? I mean, especially after the loss Sunday, right? I mean, th this felt even more important th th than your usual opening weekend in Sun Belt Conference play. To go in and pick up both of these wins to play a huge part in the, in both victories. Uh, what can you say about the weekend, man, man? Uh, I felt like we just needed to stay focused. In the first game, we lost focus uh, right at the end. So. Uh, yeah, we talked about staying focused and just staying focused. <laughs> and, and, you, and you were both here last year for Coastal's victory late in the season at Troy. I, I know there was, you know, that's that's still sticking in the mind. Is there that, that was the last time you saw this team? They they, they were uh, they were hitting three point shots, and I know you guys uh, had had the uh, motivation to, to come in here and, and try to pay them back. Oh uh, yeah, that was all on my mind. We got we had to get that get back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, well, there's a there's a long list of teams that we owe something to in the Sun Belt Conference. Yeah. Coastal Carolina crossed them off the list for now. Uh, yeah. For, for, for now, but it was a uh, outstanding for, uh, sticks. I got to ask about the free throws at the end of the game. That was another you know, pivotal moments uh, where Coastal Carolina was rallying back. Troy made it a 12 point game uh, with about five minutes left, but then Coastal with a couple of baskets, cutting it a little bit close. You had, you had to hit those free throws. Yes, sir. I just want to stay poised and be able to knock down some shots to take the lead up a little more. Ty Porsche is not here, but she's had an outstanding weekend. She maybe has a player of the week candidacy with Troy picking up two wins, 17 and 11 for Ty Porsche. What can you say about your teammate and how she was uh, getting it done out there? Um, I love playing with Ty. I think we got good chemistry and we know each other game, so we play off each other energy and it's great being beside Ty on the court. There, there was high-low game there. There was some offensive rebounds where one of you would miss, the other one would uh, would, would pick up the uh, the slack. And, and yeah, when, when you two are both performing, how, how, how tough does it make for other teams? Too it's hard. It's hard to hold two posts if you know both gonna rebound, both gonna put the ball in the hole. So I think we just did good in the off season to come back for something to bigger this season. And, and May May, uh, I, I want to ask about Nia Dan, somebody that I've asked you about before. Nia, Nia also was 17 points in this game. Nia, Nia was hitting some big shots for you guys as well. That's just what she do. She hit shots, big shots. That's just what she do. I would, you know what I'm saying. I wasn't surprised by what she did. It seemed like there were a couple of times in this game where Coastal was starting to build momentum and it would just take a Nia Daniel pull up from somewhere to quiet this crowd down. And she's got she's got that ability to silence things yeah, when, when, it, when, it's, when, it, when it's getting a little bit too loud. She'll right? silence Appreciate it's you, Nia. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I know I know Nia's people are listening. Coach was just talking about Shalana Wagner, too, who did not have a huge game in the scoring. Second straight game with eight assists, Ooh. getting the ball to you guys, and, and, a, and a tough defensive assignment as well. What can you say about your new teammate? Wags. Uh, Wag came in, she she know her role, she steps in it and helps the team and big things with dishing the ball and holding a, a great defender. Hey, I like the way she rebounds. Yes. Right. I, like, I like the way she She's rebounds. Hey, shout out to the Troy coaches, right? When you, yeah. when you mentioned a rebound. <laughs> hey, I, I, I like the way she rebounds. Ab 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 absolutely. Up. Guys, 2-0 uh, weekend in Sunbelt Conference play. Quick turnaround. You got long, long bus ride back to Troy. Quick turnaround. Who we're playing on Wednesday? Is it the Louisiana? I'm pretty sure they're Raging from Kings? Louisiana. Oh, no, no, they're coming man, off a hot win. You got a, you got a little you got a little history with Louisiana, man. Man, is that is that game? Even though you know it's your second year here at Troy, that game's still uh, that's, that game's still an important one for you. Yeah, I still got that chip on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. That's right, and and we and the Trojans still remember what you did as a Louisiana Raging Cajun a couple of years ago at Trojan Arena. So hopefully you can harness some, harness some of that magic. But guys, congratulations on a uh, on an outstanding performance. I know how badly the Trojans wanted both of these, and you're going home 2-0. Thank you, Dan. Shout out my teammates. Hi, y'all. Congratulations.